Isha, come on, yeah. Stop being so stubborn. I'm not being stubborn. You're being foolish. Oh, why don't you ever understand, yeah? Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Stop being crazy. Crazy? I crazy? Didn't, I didn't mean that. You really want to say what really crazy is? I didn't is? mean that. Oh, man. That was close. So close. Isn't she crazy? Man, what I can do. This channel is about a sneak peek with and Deepak and I love him. So, let me go back, convince her, bring her here, then we'll start this video. In the meantime, you guys stay here, okay? Come on, come on. Please, take a seat. All right. So, as always, I managed to convince her. She was about to kill me. That's true. <laughs> but let us tell you why we were fighting. Um, would you? Of course I will. So guys, we were having a very big fight on a very important topic. And that was which platform, actually which music platform has been better for us for all these months. Now hold on. This is not a silly topic, okay? <laughs> music is one of the very, very important factors when you want to get success on any video platforms. But this is also one of the biggest headaches while creating a video. You know why? Because finding the right music, which actually suits the mood of your video, is so challenging. And it's not just that. Finding royalty-free music, in layman terms, music which is not copyrighted, is just so freaking crazy. Which means, as much as I love my all my AC songs, I can't use them in any video because of the licensing issues. And having said that, music platforms like Epidemic Sound, Artlist, Musicbed have made the life of content creators like us very easy, isn't it? Very true. But the challenge is finding the right platform that works best for you is very difficult. So in this video, we are going to discuss that. So stick till the end of the video, because by the end of this video, you will have enough reasons to make your own decision that which platform works best for you. But before starting this battle, we want to clear one thing that in this video, we are comparing two famous platforms, Epidemic Sound and Musicbed, because we are using these platforms for quite some time and we have enough information to share. By the way, we have also tried Artlist.io and it's pretty good, but we are not using any of their subscription. So we didn't deep dive into it, but, but we already love it. Yes. <laughs> and whenever we will start using it, we'll share that information. And also we want to clear one more thing that this video is not sponsored by any mentioned platforms. So the views will be unbiased completely. Totally. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into the... So we are going to compare these two platforms using four important factors. Pricing, licensing, interface, quality and quantity. So let's start with pricing first. Epidemic Sound has a free trial of 30 days. It used to have two months as well earlier. But the main thing is that whatever music you download during this trial period, you can use it. They have different pricing options based on how big your channel is. They have divided their plans into personal, commercial and enterprise. They charge $15 a month for personal, $49 per month for commercial and for enterprise, you need to request a quote. For content creators like us, we use personal plan because it fits our need. But if you're into freelancing like wedding photography or something, you need to go for commercial plan because personal plan won't cover you. Whereas Musicbed has no free trial and they have a yearly contract. Just like Epidemic Sound, Musicbed also has three different plans. Individual, business and enterprise. And the pricing is $19.99 for individual, $99.99 for business and again, for enterprise, you need to reach out to Musicbed for quote. So if you do the math, you are paying $180 annually to Epidemic Sound with the flexibility to cancel anytime. Whereas you will be paying around $240 annually to Musicbed with an obligation of an yearly contract. So price wise, we give more points to Epidemic Sound. Now let's jump on to the second factor, which is licensing and restrictions. Now there are a lot of similarities between these two platforms when it comes to licensing and restrictions. What I mean by that is, let's say that you have one YouTube channel and you also bought one personal subscription. You can only attach that one YouTube channel to that one subscription. And if you have multiple YouTube channels, you'll have to buy either the multiple uh, plans, multiple uh, personal subscriptions, or you can opt for their uh, business or commercial plans. Also, one more thing which I want to point out is, let's say that you have uh, social media accounts. 
uh, one social media or like you know one account on Facebook, one account on Instagram, one account on Twitter. That also you can associate with your same uh, subscription. But let's say that if you have two Instagram accounts or two uh, Facebook accounts, then you'll have to buy multiple plans as well. Second similar restriction is that you can only use a music until your subscription is active. What I mean by that is let's say that you bought this subscription today and you downloaded a lot of songs and then later you decided you want to cancel the subscription. Once you cancel the subscription, you won't be able to use those downloaded songs. They will give you a copyright issues, of course. Uh, but don't worry about the previous uh, videos which you uploaded with their music. That will be all right. Now, these were the similarities between the two platforms. Now, let's talk about the difference. There is a huge problem when it comes to music bed. What we have realized is whenever we upload any video with music beds, music in it, we always get copyright issues. We get an email saying that, you know, we have copyright issues and it gets cleared out later. But, you know, the whole stress of, you know, uh, manually raising a dispute, that's too much. That's too stressful at times. However, in Epidemic, we have never, ever had any such issues. Always copyright issues free. So to conclude in this factor as well, Epidemic Sound wins. Now, next factor is navigation or interface which means how easy it is to find music on any of these platforms. Let's start with music bed first. There are so many filters which are provided to find the right music such as genre, mood, artist and lot more options are there. But what is more interesting are these options available through advanced tab. So you can see such cool options like build and vocals. Believe me, it has made our life very easy. While on the other hand, search on epidemic sound sucks. You can see here that there are no useful filters. You can choose your genre or mood, but still you can't go deep enough to find your choice of music that easily. So this one definitely goes to music bed. Now last but not the least is quality and quantity. Don't get us wrong. Both the platforms have very, very high quality music. Of course, that is why everybody is using them. But if you really have to compare the quality, I will have to give it to music bed because it has so much of rich catalog of music and also like their music just stands out. But Epidemic Sound has a huge library of 30,000 plus songs. And another advantage is that it also offers sound effects, which is very important if you want to up the quality of your video. Whereas music bed lacks that. Another thing which we want to highlight is that Epidemic Sound offers you an opportunity to download the song or the stems of that song. Let me explain what stem really means. A song is divided into four categories, bass, drums, instruments, and melody. And actually in Epidemic, you can download any of that. So you can download them separately through stems or simply download the whole full mix. But you don't get such options in Music Pen. So that's why this factor is kind of a toughie for us. So I would say it's a tie, you know? So here's the conclusion. If you can afford it, we would highly recommend you buy the subscriptions to both the platforms. And if you cannot, then pick your favorite. You already have the list of all the goods and the bads. But here are some of our recommendations that if you're a YouTuber, go for Epidemic Sounds because uh, the flexibility to cancel anytime is actually really good. And also they provide sound effects. And if you're a freelancer, like a wedding photographer or videographer, go for Musicbed because their collection is actually very rich. But at the end, you have to decide what is the best option for you. So choose wisely. That's it for this video guys. We really hope we provided you some kind of value and if we did, give us a big thumbs up. And if you like seeing these faces more often, then don't forget to subscribe. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Alright, we'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.